Well, this episode is the second installment of our CICP 20th anniversary miniseries for the podcast. Mark Howell uh, joins us. Uh, you've had, uh, Mark, a, a really successful career path serving in executive roles at both Bright Point and Angie's List. Now in your current role as president and CEO of Connexus Indiana. That's why you're here uh, today. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you very much for uh, including yeah. me in this. What, uh, talk about that, that career path and your private sector experience, your background, and what led you uh, into your current role at Connexus. Sure. Well, I mean, I was very fortunate for 25 years to work with with some of uh, Indianapolis's greatest entrepreneurs, working mm-hmm. with Mike Hockett, uh, Jim Hallett, Bob Lake, and, um, and Bill Austerly. And kind of for so many years, I'd been able to take great advantage of the work of CICP, Connexus, uh, and others. So with the sale of Angie's List to Home Advisor, it created an inflection point for me and made a decision that really wanted to do something that was more mission-driven, than margin driven and very fortunate that it came at a great inflection point with mm-hmm. the leadership change at Connexus. Well, 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 let's talk about that mission uh, for Connexus Indiana, something that really is in the sweet spot of the Indiana economy to be sure, but talk about uh, Connexus Indiana, what it's all about. Yeah, well, I think two of the best kept secrets in Indiana are the importance of manufacturing and logistics to our state. Um, in many ways, manufacturing and logistics are the socioeconomic backbone of, of Indiana. Um, people don't know this. In fact, I, I wasn't completely aware, but you know, Indiana generates more than a third of its GDP for manufacturing. We produce more than $110 billion worth of goods in Indiana and more than $650 billion worth of goods goods pass through our state. And one thing that I really began to understand that that success isn't structural. You know, it's been earned over time. Mm -hmm. And so Conexus's real role is to make sure that we do those things necessary to maintain that leadership Mm -hmm. for future generations. Well, as you look at opportunities, and they are substantial, but in the advanced manufacturing sector and using technology and innovation to make things, which Indiana, as you say, continues to do a great job of, what are the opportunities uh, that you see uh, for Indiana to continue to grow in that manufacturing legacy? Yeah, and you use the word legacy, and that's kind of the perfect word. Indiana has an incredible legacy in manufacturing, and that allows us to build from that. We've also got some really cool structural advantages, Mm -hmm. the fact that we're kind of at the population center of the United Mm -hmm. States. We've got the most pass-through highways. We've got four inland waterway ports. We've got great airlift with the uh, FedEx hub. And we've got a tremendous workforce. We have great people in this state who take great pride in their work. And so Mm -hmm. it's not so much just creating the new, but leveraging all of those great assets that we've had Mm -hmm. uh, historically. Uh, In in terms of something that we're really beginning to focus on, manufacturing and logistics both are going through a pretty significant accelerating evolution, kind of referred to as Industry Mm 4.0. And so the, the elements where that's going to be most impactful for the areas that we're focused, and that's talent, making Mm -hmm. sure that we have a workforce that's ready for the work of the future, and then also technology adoption uh, Mm -hmm. and migration. Innovation is critical to long-term success in these sectors. Yeah. You talk about talent. You know, everybody's talking about talent across uh, all sectors. But as you look at uh, distribution and logistics, you look at the advanced manufacturing sectors, um, your thoughts. I mean, it's it goes without saying talent is going to be key to, to continued growth. But as you look at the talent issue and you look at things that are going on to address it, how, how, what's your outlook? How do you feel about it? Well, I, I feel awesome about it. And, and I think I feel so good about it because I think we have leadership at the state level and at the educational level that know that this is our biggest priority. Uh, one, one of the myths that we're trying to debunk is this concept that technology and industry 4.0 are going to disintermediate the workforce. And really what it's doing is creating creating new great opportunities. I tell people all the time, never in the history of manufacturing, and especially in Indiana, have we had more technology at work in manufacturing and logistics mm-hmm. or more jobs that need to be filled. Mm-hmm. And so that's really our focus area is attracting people by improving the image and brand and awareness of manufacturing and, and then ensuring people have 
successful pathways. So, you know, whether you're in high school, uh, going straight into the workforce, whether you're in college and post-secondary looking for opportunities, or if you're a working adult looking for opportunities for economic mobility, Connexus is in there with programming. And this year, we will actually affect more than 6,000 Hoosiers with our programs. Wow. Uh, how important, in your view, is is awareness of what we'll just use advanced manufacturing as an example what manufacturing is today uh, in terms of getting more young people into the pipeline that whole perception of manufacturing being a greasy grimy old dingy factory type job when it's really you know quite the opposite now how important is it to to educate to get that message out uh, it's incredibly important and it's actually one of our biggest priorities you know you use these historical terms of dark mm -hmm. dirty dangerous mm -hmm. and they in no way describe uh manufacturing today manufacturing and logistics in indiana today are technology industries mm -hmm. and those are the skill sets that people need to see we we have a really great story to tell there's there's three big components of manufacturing as it relates to talent one is the work that's done here in manufacturing is very impactful what happens in indiana impacts the world mm -hmm. the second is the importance of this work you know in indiana we're making medicines that are mm -hmm. saving lives medical devices that mm -hmm. are changing lives in the defense industry we're arming our mm -hmm. warfighters to protect our nation we're leaders in transportation metals and advanced materials what we do is important and then lastly a, a better understanding of opportunities these aren't jobs these are career pathways mm -hmm. so pathways to prosperity, to security, to continued learning, uh, and to meaningful work. And that's a story that needs to be told. Mm -hmm. And Conexus feels like it's our responsibility to tell that story. Do, do, do you sense that the the culture in the state is, is beginning to change when it comes to education? And that, uh, sure, there's great value to a four-year college degree, but Equally so, there are great opportunities uh, in the community college system and, and associate degrees and credentials, those types of things that can get Hoosiers launched in, as you say, a career. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and it's not even just the associate's degree. There are so many opportunities for lurk, uh, work and learn coming mm -hmm. right out of high school. So uh, the average salary of someone in manufacturing in Indiana is more than $77,000. That is a higher average salary than those with bachelor's degrees mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in our state. And so, you know, whether you're a high school student who wants to go straight into the workforce and begin their career pathway, whether you're an engineer, a project manager, a data analyst coming out of university, or whether you're a working adult that's trying to find an opportunity for better benefits, more stability, and learning opportunities, opportunities manufacturing and logistics provides that we've talked a lot about advanced manufacturing and touched on logistics but one thing that i uh, think many people are surprised at they see uh, the fedex they see the interstate system but don't think a lot about um our shipping you know the ports of indiana mm -hmm. and the great things that indiana is doing in that regard as you look at at distribution and logistics as a sector it really is a substantial part of the economy yeah and in the beauty of indiana is it's incredible multimodal if you look at mm -hmm. how the railroads and intermodal complements the inland waterways with mm -hmm. the airlift uh, it's not by accident that everywhere you look there's increased construction you know mm -hmm. a lot of people look at the work that's going on at the interstates and they think potholes what we think is the growth of fulfillment distribution and mm -hmm. supply chain opportunities mm -hmm. our our roads our airports our railways and uh, our inland waterways are four of Indian Indiana's biggest economic drivers. Hmm. Final question for you, uh, Mark. CICP has a critical role in, uh, in many ways as a center for strategy on around collaboration uh, in the state. A as you look at the economy and how things are, are set up now, what do you see as maybe some future opportunities for collaboration that would have impact ac across sectors? Yeah, CICP is, is a single entity, and there's six initiatives where we're kind of focused on specific sectors, but the underlying issues that we deal with 
innovation and entrepreneurism, talent and career readiness, digital adoption, technology adoption and migration kind of tra transcend all of those. And the way that we're working together is, is evidence of that with Agrinovis and Ag Biosciences. You know, from, a, from, from our standpoint, we complement each other, you know, from, from field to fork Mm -hmm. is manufacturing and logistics the role that we play there i'm associated with ascend on their executive committee mm -hmm. and board and board and jason cloth and i work together every day to ensure that our talent programs are symbiotic and you know one, one of one of my favorite piece parts of this is uh, i i keep referring to manufacturing as technology and technology mm -hmm. is manufacturing the vice chair of the connexus board is a Cummins executive on the manufacturing side, and the chair of the TechPoint board is the CIO of Cummins, that same manufacturing company. So yeah. perfect evidence of, of uh, symmetry. Great example. Mark Howell is the president and CEO of Connexus Indiana. Mark, thanks for joining us. I really appreciate the time and uh, certainly Central Indiana and the state of Indiana. Fortunate to have someone of your, your background, your capabilities run on the show. Thanks. You know, that's awesome. I appreciate it. Connexus has a great story to tell, and I appreciate the chance to tell it. You've reached the end of another episode of Ag Plus Bio Plus Science's CICP miniseries with your host, Gary Dick of Inside Indiana Business. Subscribe to our podcast on iTunes. Spotify, Stitcher, or Google Play. Connect with Agrinovis at agrinovisindiana.com and with Inside Indiana Business at insideindianabusiness.com. Don't forget to join us next Monday for another episode. Thank you for listening. 